Dzień dobry. We're still in Warsaw and we're now going to Park Washinki. Uh, it's a little bit windy and grey, but it's not raining, so we're happy. Yes, it's good. Happy, happy. <laughs> a lot of green cafes here. I've seen like five now. No, exactly. Want to make your own uh, candy? Isa and Ryan would love that. <laughs> Warsaw has a palm tree. That's funny. Now it feels like Barcelona, because Barcelona also has red and yellow buses. We're in Barcelona now, huh? How yeah, did that happen? Like <laughs> that way? Or that way? Oh, it's... <laughs> Oops. I think... That way? Oh, we can also go this way, maybe. Wait, we have to look it up. I find this street very interesting with all the different flags and buildings. <laughs> We're almost at the park. Trakt Króleski, Nowe Miasto. Oh. Oh, we were here yesterday and now we're walking all the way through here. To here, to here. There we are. Oh, there are soldiers. I think we can go in here. Yeah, we should. Where to go? <laughs> yeah, we have to go back here when it's springtime. Like my subscribers already told me. But since we are here, we're still visiting the park. like a calming place in the city. Oh yes, with the flowers it would be so pretty. And the sun. It still is though. Still some ice. Really? 
beautiful swans. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. I love the art they made on the bridge that they're now destroying. <laughs> yeah, we are in a city, Sana. We're on it. We are in the city. We were a little bit hungry. So let's chill and eat. We are on our way to Old Town for the last time. Because we still have some hours before our train leaves. So we are going to Old Town for a little bit of a walk. Even though my legs are tired. And Sana's back is hurting. <laughs> <laughs> because we did 20 kilometers yesterday. And now already like 10. So yeah, we're doing pretty good with the steps. A lot of exercise. A lot of exercise. Super healthy. <laughs> back home in Krakow um, so yesterday I came home with a train in the evening and um, during the day the second day in Warsaw <clears throat> I felt a little bit of a flu um, starting and I got that from um, from Amalia because she was sick like uh, a week ago so it's a little bit like uh, it's not COVID because uh, we tested her and uh, the mom also tested herself and so it's not it's just like a little bit of a flu um, so I came back yesterday evening and I was just they they told me like just rest just to take a bath and um, go to go to bed like soon and then uh, then now I'm just resting for a bit and I, I will be okay of course I, I already feel like loads better after a really nice night of sleep and now I'm just just resting and relaxing for a bit and the weather is also like really really weird it's like Dutch Dutch winter now in Poland please give me back the real winter <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I just wanted to say about Warsaw um, I wanted to explain <laughs> Uh, that Warsaw is like a real, real, really close second. Krakow will always be probably number one because it's so special to me. But Warsaw comes really close to uh, to, to Krakow, and um, yeah, I, I will visit Warsaw like probably every year a couple of times because it it, it stole my heart in a bit like. Um, I think it's a really special city because, uh, well, I I feel the stories that are that that were here, that, like from uh, the war and all the things, because I I felt like how the people from the uprising gave 
everything that you got, like to fight for their families, their um, city, their country, and the world even. Um, they just gave everything and I feel that when I'm walking through those streets and the neighborhoods where it happened. I even got goosebumps now when I talk about it because I don't know what it is but I am very sensitive to um, things so I feel like kind of what happened there. And um, also I think it's also very special to me when I walk through the city because so many people also gave put all their hearts like in rebuilding the city because it was destroyed like like 90 percent of the city was destroyed and then you decided to rebuild it like and so beautifully like so brilliantly rebuilt like i feel like all the love that was put in was put in the rebuilding of the city and that's I feel that all the time when I'm walking through the city. Um, so yeah, I will come and visit way more often. Uh, <clears throat> I still want to live in Krakow because um, Krakow has that really homey feeling for me. That I'm home in Krakow. And that's that's the difference. Kijk, look, Warsaw is like a very awesome, very beautiful, very special city. But I think it's too, it feels too big for me because Warsaw is like really big city. And you feel that you are you are in like a big, big city when you are in Warsaw. Um, so Krakow has that homey, cozy feeling for me. That's like, yeah, where I, where I always want to come back to. And um, the reason that I didn't visit uh, museums yet. Um, I want to explain that to you because I know like when you're like a traveling YouTuber um, then you have to show places and uh, also like museums because a lot of people who watch travel videos are like also want to know about museums and I'm not really like a travel YouTuber like I don't want to be put in that box because I just share my um, my unique perspective and how I feel and just authentic what what's authentic authentic for me and to be honest I do not visit like museums very often because uh, I I'm really about feeling the places I go to and then I describe to you and show you in my videos and describe it in words what I feel and um, of course, museums can be really, really impressive and interesting and beautiful. And I'm not saying that I'm not going, but uh, at the first place, I just want to feel and experience the, the city because that's the way how I live. And when I'm go, and when I go like immediately to museums, then it's getting cluttered, and I just want to feel at the first place. And then after I I've feel, felt it all, then I can visit museums but sometimes I decide not to for example I've not been to Auschwitz yet and the reason for that is that I know that when I go there uh, it will be really really uh, it will be too intense for me I think because some so much happened there like there's so, so such intense things happen there that it will flow into my body and that's and I know that's not because I am hypersensitive that's not good for me um, I think I have to rest probably and recharge from that uh, maybe a week long <laughs> because so many things happen so sometimes I decide to um, to focus on what I feel and actually experience the city instead of going to museums. Um, and there's also, there are also museums about art and you know there are a lot of museums I know that. I know that my family where I stay now and work for went to the uh, Museum of Illusions yesterday and that was that looked like a really fun one. So yeah I know. 
I'm open to museums, but like the things about the uprising and um, the war and museums, I think I already feel um, the story when I walk through the places. Uh, and I think about the people who gave their lives and who were, who were literally dest destroyed and uh, yeah, they gave, they gave like, it was not that they were fighting like to gain something for themselves because they knew they were going to die anyway. So they just got in and went in with all of their hearts and like they gave it all and that's what's impressive and that's what I felt when I was walking through the city. So yeah, that's why I think Warsaw is really special. I see I'm already talking for 8 minutes, so um, Wednesday it will be talking Polish Wednesday again, so I will see you then. Kocham pas i mewako dnia.